entertainment buzz. Cliff Hughes bashes the PNP for celebrating Five Scar Teller. Now, in a bold move that has stirred both excitement and controversy, the People's National Party PNP recently placed Vibes Cartel front and center during their annual conference. And while the event aimed to rally support ahead of the upcoming elections, it's Cartel's presence that has taken the spotlight. Now, veteran journalist Cliff Hughes did not hold back. He openly criticized the PNP for using a figure he considered as a man of questionable character to boost their appeal. Now, could this polarizing decision shift the tide of the public opinion? Now, Cliff Hughes took aim at the PMP leadership for aligning with Vibes Cartel, and in his view, in his critical view, the party's actions reflect political desperation. Hughes explained that the PNP is under intense pressure as they attempt to avoid losing three consecutive terms in opposition. And according to Hughes, this is why the party made the controversial decision to celebrate Vibes Cartel despite his ongoing incarceration and notorious reputation. Hugh emphasized that Cartel, who has been convicted of murder, is being hailed as a hero by the party stating, the PMP is politically desperate. Hugh said the PMP party is politically desperate. They welcome him because they know it's gonna resonate. Now, in Hugh's eyes, the leadership under Mark Golding is relying on Cartel's popularity to sway votes, but at what cost? Now, Cliff Hughes continues to point fingers at the PNP leaders like Mark Golding and Peter Bunting. Hughes questioned their decision making, especially since Bunting himself once called Vibes Cartel the poster child of negative elements in Jamaica's popular culture. Now, Hughes, being a little shady, shared a few old comments made by Bunting where the politician said, he is very clever, he is very talented, but he has put the talent entirely in the service of evil. And by saying he, he's referencing Vibes Cartel. Now, years later, Bunting was silent as Cartel was brought into the spotlight. And this is what you ask. Where was Peter Bunting yesterday? Where was Peter Bunting at the PNP conference? Where was Peter Bunting when Cartel was on stage being the focus of the conference? Now for Hughes, this disconnect within the PNP leadership represents a shift away from the party's roots, a path different from the days of Michael Manley. And while Golding's speech during the conference included notable points, Hughes argued that the inclusion of Vibes Cartel on the platform overshadowed any positive message the party might have had. Now, a 91-year-old former cop speaks out and adding to the public's unease, the 91-year-old former police officer named Desmond called into Hughes' show. Now, having lived through the political violence of the 1970s and 80s, Desmond expressed deep concern over Cartel's appearance. He said, Seeing Cartel on the podium yesterday, his presence let me feel nervous. The 91-year-old man was nervous as he recalled a time when gangsters had significant influence in the country's politics. Now, the veteran cop believes that celebrating cartel at a political event, the veteran cop believes that celebrating cartel at a political event could open the doors for a return of criminal elements into the country's affair. And this is what he said. It's a festering also ready to break out. 
Now, Desmond warned during comparisons to how the alignment of politicians and gangsters in the past led to an escalation of violence in Jamaica. And it's a matter of loyalty versus popularity. And the debate over whether Carter's popularity should be embraced or shunned by political parties is now at the forefront. And as Hughes pointed out, both major parties in Jamaica have used controversial figures to boost their appeal. But this latest move by the PMP can signal a dangerous turn. Is the party sacrificing its core values for short-term gains? Or is this simply a reflection of how deeply rooted Cartel's influence is in the Jamaican culture? Now, with the general elections on the horizon, the PNP's decision to highlight cartel raises important questions. Will this bold move actually translate into votes, or could it alienate voters who feel uneasy about cartel's criminal background? And as the country inches closer to the election day, the big question remains. Will Cartel's appearance at the PNP conference be enough to pull the crowd or will it backfire and damage the party's credibility? Hughes and Desmond raised some very interesting points. And as the political arena heats up, one must ask, by aligning themselves with Vibes Cartel, has the PNP strengthened their appeal to the youth? Or are they gambling with the nation's value? Will Cartel's influence be the key to rallying votes? Or will his controversial past cost the party more than it gains at the polls? Again, my people, only time will tell if this move was a masterstroke or a misstep. We no afraid of nobody, no afraid of nobody, we no afraid of nobody.